I searched all over YouTube and tried every single workout under the sun to find the perfect workout that will help me get from this to this. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up. Now as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I lost £30 in one month. Now I absolutely love sharing my weight loss journey with you guys, giving you the tips and tricks that really really helped me hone in and crack down on exactly what worked for me. I always love to give a little bit of a back story so you have an idea of how my weight loss journey went from the very early stages to where I am now and initially I struggled to lose weight for four to five years I would lose 10 pounds gain 10 pounds lose five pounds gain five pounds lose 20 pounds gain 20 pounds I struggled with so many different methods and one of my worst methods of all time was getting back from getting back every single evening and going to the gym for two hours a day doing cardio and you can imagine just based on how much time and energy that took up that was the most exhausting routine to have and although I would lose for example 10 pounds because the routine was so exhausting I then would not be motivated to continue so that 10 or 5 pounds would just come back but I managed to find the workouts trying every single workout under the sun I mean you guys have seen my reviews you guys have seen my entire journey of me trying every single workout the Chloe Ting the Lily Sabri the Emmy Wong and I have cracked down on the ones that worked amazingly for me to the point where in my first week alone I lost nine pounds and that's huge for me because I would lose 10 pounds pounds in a year for example it really really was difficult for me to lose weight um, and I just wanted to give myself the biggest push um, and motivation to show myself I could do it and I can lose weight and I can get to my absolute dream goal my dream goal was slimming down my thighs being able to wear more shorts crop tops summer dresses that was kind of my goal and these are the exact workouts today in this video that helped me get to that exactly now you guys know the biggest deal for me was my thighs so I'm going to go into some thigh workouts that really really pushed me and allowed me to see the results that I wanted to see as well. So number one video is this one. You guys, as I say, know I've tried Emmy Wong, Lily Sabri, Chloe Ting and I was looking for the best workout that was going to give me results, that was going to give me that burn and was going to push me to exactly where I wanted to be. Now, I always look at what workout's too easy, what movements are not effective and it's known that in a workout, if you just pick a random workout, for example, only 60 to 70% of the movements in that workout are actually going to be helpful. And I knew that because some workouts gave me no results at all this workout gave me such a heavy burn I always say when I'm recommending workouts to people that if you're looking for a heavy burn to push your body to get to the results that you need this is the workout it burns like crazy as in the movements that such as this one burn so so much and when I would isolate this movement and do it all throughout the week people always ask how many workouts are you looking to do per week I would say about three to four start off strongly with three that's exactly what I did and then I worked my own way up to four. Even on the maximum day, some weeks I would do six days a week, but that was only much, much later on in my journey. So you have to understand that in that first one month, I was able to lose 30 pounds by doing just a four days a week at the most. And this is literally going from doing two hours a day to this workout that's under 20 minutes every single day. And I love this workout for that reason. The other reason why I love this workout is I did it for a majority of the one month itself. So it proved to me that it was hard enough to challenge my body and give it the burn, to burn the calories, to see that drop and see that difference from day one to day 30 and this is the exact workout that allowed me to see that difference that burn and that push now the next workout I did was this full body workout now I really wanted to make sure that my stomach area was cinching in I actually didn't realize my stomach was going to go down so quickly honestly within two weeks my stomach was completely different to how it was on day one it dropped so so quickly when I was doing a workout like this one movements like this specifically allow me to feel the burn so intensively to the point where I was sweating, dripping with sweat throughout the workout. It's such a really good burner. I would classify this workout as a medium to hard level, but it's exactly what I needed because throughout the entire month, my weight kept going down and I consistently kept doing this workout week after week, day after day, during this entire month where I lost the 30 pounds. I love this workout because it gives me the proper push 
stretch that I need and incorporates the best movements. Like I always remind that some movements aren't going to give you the most effective burn and activate the areas that allow a bigger burn within your body to burn more calories. And this workout nails the exact movements I needed in order to do that. And that's why I love doing it so, so much. Again, with workouts like this, I'd probably do it about three to four times a week. And isolating movements, such as the important movements I highlight for this video, um, redoing those whenever I get a chance throughout the week, because the more I'm activating a 10 minute workout here and there, the more I know I'm going to burn overall. Really honing in that, realizing that I only need that 15 minutes a day to fully activate the amount of weight I lost and the amount of burn that I got was phenomenal for me, because obviously as we work harder and harder on a time crunch throughout the day, throughout the week, you do want to be able to get your workout and get your weight loss in and really be able to do it all. And when you have a two hour cardio session, it feels like you can't really consistently keep that up every single day, which is why, you know, you find you don't do the workouts as consistently. Um, but having such a short workout like this allowed me to keep going every single day because it's such a quick workout and it fits so conveniently always. The final workout I did was this full body workout. Now I'm always looking for an amazing full body workout because overall I really want to get my heart rate up and get my body burning and this burns like crazy. I really love seeing my body push to places it had never been before and the movements in this burnt so so much. The motivation as I say for me I'm a visual motivator where I really like seeing the weight go down on the scales for me and this workout really allowed me to do that. It pushed my body so much and again it's a medium to hard level type of routine and workout which allow me to know my body is working, my body is pushing and I am burning the calories I need. I'll always have this as my holy grail because it burns like crazy but that's exactly what I needed to allow my body to see changes that I'd never seen before. It was a fantastic place to get that propeller and that momentum to push my body to get to my to get to my goal for my one month goal. Now you guys always know I love to end these videos telling you guys a bit about the nutrition I eat because I get so many questions saying I love the workouts but what were you actually eating in that time? If you're a huge snacker, if you're someone who wants to regulate your eating because you don't want to be gaining the weight as you're losing it, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. I wanted to make sure I was going on that trajectory or at least a trajectory like this but on its way down and I did that by increasing my protein. I've spoken about that so many times I'm going to just park that one but give you just as a, a quick two second I did increase my protein in every single meal. Next I reduced my sugar and salt intake. Sometimes I can feel so bloated or look so bloated at the exact same weight where I will look completely shredded. The amount of water your body can retain especially if you're getting into the swing of working out and exercising. I found that reducing my salt intake not only regulated my cravings but also allowed my body to flush out more water. Evidently the weight on the scales was going down more and more each day. Salt is such a big factor and catalyst for that water weight retaining, for that water retention and having this big bloated puffy feeling in your body where you're bloated, your stomach's bloated, my thighs, my face, everything's more bloated out and I shred down so much when I have reduced my salt intake and that allowed the pounds to keep dropping off those off the scales, the kilograms keep dropping off the scales. The other thing I did in regards to my food was to make sure I was eating the correct carbohydrates for example. I'm a big huge standpoint of adding carbohydrates in every single meal but some of them are just going to make you hungrier and that's the carbohydrate for the higher glycemic index and a lower glycemic index. You want to have the ones with the low glycemic index. Some foods you'll have on a for lunch for example and think why am I so hungry this evening and I found that quite a lot that if I ate the wrong foods, foods with a high glycemic index and foods with high sugar it would spike my insulin and create more cravings. You're not imagining it, it actually is happening and I made sure I, I regulated my eating by selecting the right foods so that in the middle of the night or I get to 7 p.m. and I'm not starving, ravenous, so, so hungry, I ate the right foods all throughout the day. Good carbohydrates, the ones that keep you full and are a slow release, and also reducing my sugar content and eating lower sugar foods. And you see a lot of foods that are full fat, for example, Greek yogurt. I'm someone who I would rather have lower sugar than lower fat. For me, I will try if I don't have the option, I'll try to prioritise lower sugar as opposed to prioritising lower fat in those good foods. Because for example, I'd have a lot of avocado, which are high fats, but it's ensuring that in the rest of the foods that I eat, my main priority is also reducing the sugar levels because that will keep my hunger going if I did not do that. Now guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Come and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast page as well. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more workouts based on what really helped me lose 30 pounds, and do give me a thumbs up on this video which will let me guys know that you want to see more of these videos. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys very very soon.
Bye, guys.